Section 3.2 is titled Using Algebraic Methods to Solve Linear Systems. Uh, we're going to focus on two techniques in this section. We're going to learn how to solve systems of linear equations using substitution method and elimination method. Okay, this first example asks you to solve by substitution. Now with substitution method, I'll say this, you want one of the equations, you want one equation to have one variable solve for. Okay, so in other words, I want one of the equations to say either x equals or y equals. If I see something like that, then typically I go to substitution method. Or if I see that I can make one of the equations do that very, very easily, then this is the way that I would go. Now, in this particular problem, we see that. We see that the top equation says y equals. So it lends itself very nice for substitution. What I'm going to do is take x minus 1, which is the same as y, and I'm going to substitute it or replace it in for y in the other equation. So this other equation becomes then x plus, instead of y, x minus 1 equals 7. And so now we have one equation that's got a single variable. We can add our like terms, so we get 2x minus 1 equals 7. Add our 1, so we get 2x equals 8 and x equals 4. Now that's not done yet because what we're looking for is a point. Okay, the solution should be an ordered pair point. Right now we only have half of the point. Okay, but if you come all the way back up here to this equation that said y equals, okay, y equals x minus 1, therefore y equals the x was 4 minus 1, y equals 3. There's our solution, 4 comma 3. In this particular problem, the same direction, solved by substitution, a little different than the last one in that we don't have an equation that says x equals or y equals, but this equation can be made into x equals very easily. I just need to take this 2y and place it over here. So x equals 4 minus 2y. Okay. So we've got what x equals 4 minus 2y. It is going to replace the x and the other equation. So I'm going to take x out and I'm going to substitute in for x the 4 minus 2y. So I've got 3 times 4 minus 2y. The rest of the equation just stays as it is. Minus 4y equals 7. I'm going to distribute, giving me 12 minus 6y minus the 4y equals 7. Combine the like terms, so 12 minus 10y equals 7. I'm going to subtract the 12. Negative 10y equals negative 5. Divide by negative 10. We get y equals a half. Okay. Now take that y value here. So we get x equals 4 minus 2 times a half. So x equals 4 minus 1, so x equals 3. And our solution is the point 3 comma 1 half. And you got to get x and y to be considered a finished problem. Now, elimination method for this next example, elimination method is sometimes called the addition method. The reason why I write that 
is because to solve a problem with elimination method, what you want to do is add the two equations together. Okay? If I add them together here, 3x plus 4x, we're just going to add straight down so we hit all the like terms. 3x plus 4x is 7x. Notice what happens to the y's. Positive 2y and negative 2y add to 0y add to 0. They eliminate, hence the name elimination. So the y's add to out of the problem. We add this, so we get negative 14. Divide by 7, we get x equals negative 2. Okay, so again, still the solution has to be an x comma y value. So we have the x, we need the y. So at this point, we pick either of these equations. It doesn't matter which one. Let's just pick the top one. And put the x value that we found in for the x. And solve it for the y. So we get negative 6 plus 2y equals 4. Add the 6 over, so 2y equals 10. So y equals 5. And that's finished. Another example with elimination method. Sometimes with elimination method, things don't add so nice and neat. If you notice on this one, if I just add down on both, the x's add to 5, the y's add to 8. I need an x or a y to cancel. And it doesn't happen in this particular problem. So what I'm going to do is modify the equations a little bit. I'm going to take, um, let me show you what I'm going to do first, and then maybe I'll explain, or it'll become obvious as I do it. Um, I'm going to take this one times 2, this one times negative 3, and watch what happens. So I'm going to double this equation, take it all times 2. I'm going to take this one all times 3. Being really careful to get all the signs correct on this equation. Well, look what happens now. If I add the equations together, I've got 6x and negative 6x. They add to 0. Whereas over here, they didn't add to 0. I've created a common multiple. They add to 0 now. So let's add the rest of this. 10y and negative 9y is just y. Negative 32 and 27 is negative 5. So our solution, we have negative 5 for the y. What we need is the x that goes with it. So pick one of these equations. Let's just say we pick this one right here. So we'd have 2x plus 3 times negative 5 equals negative 9. That's 2x minus 15 equals negative 9. We're going to add the 15 over. So 2x equals 6 and x equals 3. Okay, here's an example problem for you to try on your own. Do it substitution or elimination method, whichever you prefer. And then when you're finished, unpause the video and fast forward to the answer or watch me work out the solution and, and see if you got it. Now I'm going to solve it with substitution because I recognize that I can solve this easily for the y. And I like to do substitution if I can do it easy. So this equation, 3x plus y equals 1. I just need to subtract the x. So y equals 1 minus 3x. Okay, so that's the y. 1 minus 3x. I'm going to take it in for the y right there. Okay, so I have 2 times 1 minus 3x plus 6x equals negative 18. Distribute, we get 2 minus 6x plus 6x equals negative 18. If I combine my x's, 
Well, by combining my x's, they happen to add to 0. So we have just 2 equals negative 18. Well, 2 does not equal negative 18. That's an example of a contradiction, which we've seen before. And when that happens, we interpret this system as having no solution.